Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we will continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement and we are discussing about the performance characteristic of measurement system. So, so far we have discussed various performance characteristics, static characteristics. So we all know that the characteristics of measurement system, it can be divided into two categories static and dynamic static characteristics those which remain constant with respect to time over a period of time or vary very slowly dynamic characteristics which change rapidly with respect to time so static characteristics we have discussed uh, accuracy error uh, then we discussed about uh, repeatability reproducibility precision so in this video we are going to discuss about an important characteristic related to establishing the input output relationship of a measurement system which is called as sensitivity okay so again uh, when we discuss sensitivity there are other parameters also which will come into play right now will not uh, discuss them otherwise it will create confusion so in in simple words or in simple way if we want to understand sensitivity uh, let's say we have a measurement system okay we have a measurement system we give it input the measurement parameter whatever parameter uh, which we are trying to measure and we get a particular output so here sensitivity what it means is that suppose the input variable or the input parameter it is changed by a very small factor delta i now because of this small change in input what is the change in output which is produced okay so these two things small change in input it causes how much change in output and the ratio between the two is called as sensitivity okay this is called as sensitivity so it is the ratio of the in simple words if you want to say it is the ratio of the magnitude of the output signal to the input signal of a measuring system okay for the quantity or the parameter which is under measurement okay so it is the slope of the input output relationship curve it is also called as the calibration curve the input output relationship curve it is called as calibration curve so the slope of that curve that is called as the uh, sensitivity so if this input output relationship curve the calibration curve is linear the sensitivity will be fixed as in this case but if it is non-linear okay then the sensitivity will be different at different points the slope will be different at different points and so will be the sensitivity now here uh, sensitivity generally what we want is that for various systems uh, various kinds of linearization techniques are used here that, that's why I said there are various important terms that will come into play uh, which is very important to understand the overall performance of a system like there is a concept of threshold there is a concept of resolution which we'll discuss in separate videos then uh, there is a concept of linearity and non-linearity so all of this is uh, these uh, performance characteristics are there so we cannot discuss one completely neglecting the other but we are trying to do our best so that we focus on one performance characteristic there is a concept of dead zone dead time all of that we'll discuss that but what basically it means is that for a particular device for a particular measurement system 
we want the output to be linear okay because we want the sensitivity to be constant so that uh, all the measurement process it will be simplified we don't want this kind of a you know input output relationship curve so different kinds of you know techniques are used linearization techniques are used to get as linear the response should be kept as linear as possible so that we get a fixed sensitivity value for different kinds of devices let's say uh, we are using a, a temperature sensor let's say rtd or anything like that rtd thermocouple thermistor like that so in that case the input which we are giving is the surrounding temperature okay the temperature which we are getting and the output is resistance change okay so here the sensitivity is uh, it can be expressed in terms of kilo ohm per kelvin or kilo ohm per uh, degree celsius like that suppose we are using a pressure measurement device okay a pressure measurement device so in that case uh, let's say uh, the input is in terms of newton or bar or whatever the units of force or pressure whatever and uh, the output is in terms of linear displacement millimeters okay so it can be in terms of millimeter per newton or bar like that so here what we want is that this response this factor sensitivity factor that should be fixed it should not behave differently at different points so that's why the linearity concept it becomes very important okay the linearity of the input output relationship curve or the calibration curve so in that way we can you know design the measurement system as accurately as possible so that it will give the accurate values at different points at different values of the input it should not behave differently okay so that's why when we discuss sensitivity the other parameters such as linearization or linearity drift there is another thing drift the a deviation from this ideal input output relationship behavior drift also comes into play uh, threshold resolution all of that comes into play so sensitivity in simple words that means ratio between a small change in the output brought about by a small change in input that is called as sensitivity okay and uh, the other uh, terms that are used for sensitivity depending on the type of system which we are dealing with in electrical electronic system the term gain can be used because ratio between output and input in simple words it is called as gain in uh, when we are dealing with time varying signals uh, which we deal with in signal processing systems communication systems also in control systems various kinds of transfer operator is used so in that case uh, this output by input ratio it is also called as transfer function when we use uh, laplace transform or uh, fourier transform like that or z transform whatever we use in that case the concept of transfer function comes into play so whether we call it sensitivity whether we call it gain whether we we'll call it transfer function they all mean the same thing depending on uh what kind of system we are dealing with what kind of signal we are dealing with but essentially it means the ratio between output and input okay but when it comes to measurement systems it is called as sensitivity and it is the ratio between a small change in output to a small change in input okay so it is very important this parameter is very important because it defines how much change in you know output will be brought about by a certain change in input so for a particular value of input what will be the output that is given by the sensitivity parameter it is also always specified in the specification sheet for a particular measurement device suppose we are using any kind of sensor let's say temperature sensor or pressure sensor or whatever sensor we are using sensitivity will always be specified and in some cases where it behaves differently in different uh, ways so in that case the range will be specified for this range this to this sensitivity is like this beyond this the sensitivity will be different so like that 
So everything will be specified in the specification sheet. Okay. So in simple words, if you want to understand, sensitivity is the ratio between a small change in the output brought about by a small change in the input and it is it can be calculated by the slope of the input output relationship curve or the calibration curve at different points okay so here we discussed about sensitivity so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day Thank you very much.